So here's a 657G, a D10R, and a regular compact car. We're gonna do a quick startup procedure on a D10R. So we're gonna approach from the uh, left-hand side if you're sitting in the cab. In here we've got our master switch. Just gonna turn that on there. Close the flap. We've also got a switch here. I don't know if the light works. No, the lights burn out. But this light will give you uh, ample light to check your oil here. Top. Check our coolant level. So you just barely see it in there, that's fine. And to side the cab here, the control is quick, your brake. Decelerator works opposite as a accelerator in your car. Then you've got your two steering clutches. So your right track, left track, and then forward, reverse, neutral, upshift, downshift. Your blade control, blade up, blade down, tilt left, tilt right. And then uh, you can see we've got two cylinders because this is a carry blade. So tilt the blade back for carrying, push the blade forward to uh, spread, and then your ripper controls as well, and it's got an auto stow button, then your horn, and then ripper on the back, it's adjustable ripper. So whenever you're starting, uh, this is an electronic throttle here, but whenever you're starting a dozer, you just want to make sure that uh, you're holding this down somewhat. Some people leave the throttle wide open. And then with this one, uh, you just click the switch forward, and you go into uh, high idle, and as you can see, as I push the pedal down, it slows down. Back to low idle. And that controls really quick. So uh, I'll show you on this side. So I'm gonna start pulling the lever back. You can see the blade comes up. Sideways. Tilt it the other way and then blade back down. Just make sure your park brake's on. 